Welcome to the sixth lecture of that public speaking interactive course. Today, we are revealing how to gather materials effectively. The content of our video course includes the following doing library research, searching the internet, interviewing, tips for doing research. It was always important to gather information at any situation, for example, planning a trip, doing report, writing a course paper, etc. Therefore, today we are going to speak about how you should go about gathering the information. Now, let's look at the first subpoint: doing library research. Even in this age of the internet, you will get some of the information for your speeches from the library. It contains many resources to help you find what you need. Librarians, the catalog, periodical database, newspapers, and reference works. Doing library research you can use such resources as librarians, experts in library use and research methods. Never hesitate to ask a librarian for a help. He or she can help you find your way, locate sources, or track down a specific piece of information. Catalog a listing of all the books, periodical, and other resources owned by library. Most library catalogs allow you to search for book by author, title, subject, or keyword. It tells you whether the book you want is available or is already checked out. Periodical databases. It allows you to locate magazines or journal articles. Type the subject on which you want information in the database search box, and citations of articles on your subject will appear on screen. In some cases, you may get an abstract of the article in addition to or instead of the full text. Abstract is a summary of a magazine or journal, written by someone other than the original author. Newspapers are invaluable for research on many topics, historical as well as contemporary. If you're looking for information from your local newspaper, your library will probably have current issues in the periodicals room. Reference works a work that synthesizes a large amount of related information for easy access by researchers. The right reference work can save you hours of time by putting at your fingertips a wealth of information that might be difficult to locate through a database or the library catalog. Reference works are divided into encyclopedias, yearbooks, quotation books, and bibliographical aids. Encyclopedia is divided into General Encyclopedia, a comprehensive reference work that provides information about all branches of human knowledge and Special Encyclopedia, a comprehensive reference work devoted to a specific subject such as religion, art, law, science, music and so on. Other types of reference works are Yearbook is a reference work published annually that contains information about the previous year. They contain an amazing amount of current information that would otherwise be all but impossible to track down. Quotation book is the book which contains sayings of different personalities. For example, Oxford Dictionary of Quotation, The New Quotable Woman, A Treasure of Jewish Quotations, etc. Bibliographical Aids is a reference work that provides information about people. For example, International Who's Who, Contemporary Black Bibliography, etc. The second subpoint of this lecture is searching the Internet. The Internet has been called the world's biggest library. However, the Internet has no central information desk, no librarians, no catalogues, and reference section. So, here are the ways you can go beyond browsing the web turn it into a powerful research tool for your speeches, search engines, specialized research resource, and evaluating Internet documents. Searching engines are the key to finding materials on the Internet. For example, Google, it provides access to billion of web pages, it has specialized search tools devoted to images, video, news, blogs, and finance. The second way of searching materials in the Internet is specialized research resources. Search aids are extremely helpful, but they are not the only vehicles for finding information online. Because the Internet is so vast, it is helpful to have a list of premium websites that you can turn to with confidence. Here is the list of sites that are mods like to be helpful for you. 
Virtual Libraries, a search engine that combines internet technology with traditional library methods of cataloging and accessing data. For example, Librarians, Internet Index, Internet Public Library. Government Resources, one of the great strengths of the internet as a research tool is the access it provides to government documents and publications. For example, user.gov, statistical abstract, world fact book, etc. Multicultural resources. The internet is a global phenomenon, and it mirrors the internationalism and diversity of our time. If you are speaking on a topic with multicultural dimension, you may find help at one of the following sites. For example, Yahoo! Regional, Virtual Library colon American Indians, Princeton University Library Asian American Studies, etc. The last way of searching materials in the Internet is evaluating Internet documents. Three criteria you can use to help distinguish between the jewels and the junk on the Internet. Authorship The author of the web document should be clearly identified and expert on the topic. Sponsorship While searching, you should judge whether the sponsoring organization of the published document is impartial enough to cite in your speech. Sponsoring organization is an organization that in the absence of a clearly identified author, is responsible for the content of a document on the Internet. Recency One of the advantages of using the Internet for research is that it often has more recent information that you can find in print sources. The best way to determine the recency of an Internet document is to look for a copyright date, publication date, or date of last revision at the top or bottom of the document. The third subpoint of this lecture is interviewing. Interview is divided into three stages, before the interview, during the interview and after the interview. Before the interview. The outcome of most interviews is decided by how well the interviewer prepares. Here are five steps you should take ahead of time to help ensure a successful outcome. Define the purpose of the interview. Decide whom to interview. Arrange the interview. Decide whether to record the interview. Prepare your questions. The next stage of interview is during the interview. Here are several steps you can take to help make things proceed smoothly. Dress appropriately and be on time. Repeat the purpose of the interview. Set up the recorder, if you are using one. Keep the interview on track. Listen carefully. Don't overstay your welcome. The last stage of interview is after the interview. During this stage, be sure to Review your notes as soon as possible. Transcribe your notes. The final subpoint of this lecture is tips for doing research. Few people regard doing research as one of life's great joys. There are ways, however, to make it less tedious and more productive. Here are four ways that are guaranteed to help. Start early. The biggest mistake students make when faced with a research project is waiting too long to begin. The longer you wait, the more problems you will encounter. Do not make such mistake. Make a preliminary bibliography. Preliminary bibliography is a list compiled early in the research process of works that look as if they might contain helpful information about a speech topic. Take notes efficiently. Think about materials as you research. If you think about what you are finding in your research, you will see your topic just a little bit differently with each note you take. You will find new relationships, develop new questions, explore new angles. Here is the method for taking notes efficiently. Take plenty of notes. Record notes in a consistent format. Make a separate entry for each note. Distinguish among direct quotations, paraphrases, and your own ideas. In conclusion, there are many resources you can use when gathering information for a speech. If you have personal experience or above average knowledge about a topic, you can use yourself as a resource. However, you will need outside information, which you can get in the library, on the internet, or by interviewing people with specialized information. Looking for information online, you need a search strategy that will help you find exactly what you need. Given the lack of editorial review for most documents on the web, it is especially important to evaluate the authorship, sponsorship, and recency. You can also get information by conducting a personal interview, which is divided into three stages, before the interview, during the interview, 
and after the interview. It is also important to start early and make a preliminary bibliography in gathering the information. And if you think about your materials as you research, you may find that gathering materials is the most creative part of your speech preparation. All presented information is taken from the book The Art of Public Speaking by Stephen Lucas.